city remembers. Address me with respect, or keep your mouth shut. It's not supposed to happen. Oh no, it's destabilizing. I never asked for this! I'm gonna hate this, aren't I? Everyone makes mistakes, right? I'm ready to show you what I've learned. What's the matter, little man? Some scars never heal. Hello, friends. I'm so happy to see you again. Today we are partnering with Flova AI to create stories step-by-step step using an all-in-one agent that functions like a professional team. The interface is fully conversational, and the crazy part is that you can earn up to $20 in credits just by using invitation codes. This platform is packed with models, everything from Kling and Veo to Nano Banana and Suno. You can use any of them as you wish or even swap them out. To create a simple story, just point the AI in the right direction, and it will handle the rest. Once you submit the story, it automatically moves to the storyboard phase, generating everything without any manual input required. The AI is fully conversational, it's like talking to a friend. So, it asked me to define the story settings, such as style and aspect ratio. After that, it will begin the journey. The best part is how it saves you credits. First, it generates all the stories, and then, before generating the elements, it will pause for your confirmation so you never waste credits on unnecessary regeneration. Now it generates the elements for me. After that, it stays tuned for my confirmation. So, the first option is to reply this way. You can reply to each generated content and change it as you wish. The AI will automatically apply the changes and regenerate a new one. You can also change the prompt or download the assets. Following the second confirmation, it begins generating the actual shots and scenes. Since we've covered the fundamentals, should we move on and create a real story? I plan to make a trailer, so instead of a basic story, I defined each scene and Flova took care of optimizing the results. Hello, my name is Kai. As you already know, I changed my voice. Please let me know how you like the new one. As you can see, the storyboard is already generating. I started by selecting Midjourney and Sora 2. Now, the AI is optimizing my input and simultaneously generating both the story and the required elements. You can easily review and modify each prompt for elements and scenes. Don't hesitate to use the stop button if you need to make any changes mid-generation. Now that the prompts are ready, it will automatically generate my characters. I just need to sit back and wait for the final result. Once the results were finally generated, I reviewed them and was truly disappointed. The elements were realistic, but I wanted a color painted style, so I simply swapped the model to Nano Banana and asked for a full regeneration using just one line of text. Now I must wait for the new elements and hope to achieve my desired look. The first result is out, and I'm genuinely excited. It perfectly captures the exact style I was aiming for. After that, I reviewed them one by one. They were all perfect. Just look at the difference between the mid-journey and nano banana results. But I needed to change a few of them. This time, instead of using the reply button, I used their names and asked to recreate Sevika, Jace, and Caitlin. After that, I actually reached my desired result. The images were ready in just a few minutes, and I was thrilled with them. For demonstration purposes, I then had the AI generate different angles for every element. Heads up, only use this step for professional generations, as it consumes a lot of credits, so skip it for basic workflows. The generation timed out, but the AI automatically optimized the process. It started creating three angles for only a few characters simultaneously, instead of generating all of them at once. This clever adjustment reduced the load on the model, and the generation succeeded. I love the new generations. Let me share a quick tip. Take your time to like the assets you prefer. 
the AI will prioritize those liked assets and generate subsequent ones that are more similar, allowing you to easily personalize the final outputs. Once I finished reviewing the generation, I instructed it to proceed with the remaining characters. I then reviewed the newly generated images, but disliked one of them. My first instinct was to change the prompt for a new image, but I realized we have a powerful asset. Flova is enhanced by Gemini. So, I just asked it to refine the image instead. After confirming this change, we moved on to element generation, but I'll skip that step now and jump straight to the video generation phase. Since all the elements and shots were fully verified and refined, I immediately gave the instruction for the AI to generate the first video. The problem I face with Sora is that the background is frozen, so I needed to add movement to Some all scars. objects and recreate the videos. As you've already seen the difference, that's why I primarily use Veo 3.1. The Jace video still isn't good, even after adding movement to the prompt, so I switched to VO3, given that Sora 2 often performs better without initial input images. I built every scene this way, but the voiceover quality is the one thing I dislike about VO3 and love about Sora 2. After creating and then refining the scenes that didn't meet our desire, I generate the necessary voiceovers for specific moments, like the jinx scene, using Sora 2. Tick tock! The bombs run down! By leveraging all these tricks, I can finally tell the AI to wrap everything up and start constructing the timeline. It will take a few minutes to finalize everything. You can freely adjust the clip crop or speed, and even edit the trailer or add music as you wish. Some scars... never heal. Think of it as a simple editor. It features dedicated tracks to manage both music and voiceovers, and you can further enhance your clip using tools like Suno and Eleven Labs. Now, let's dedicate a few minutes to the export process. Unlike other platforms where you export assets individually, this platform bundles everything into one zip file. Crucially, it includes the PR file for immediate use in Premiere which is incredibly useful. I utilized this feature and polished the clip inside Premiere, so let's check out the final result. City remembers. Address me with respect or keep your mouth shut. That's not supposed to happen. Oh no, it's destabilizing. I never asked for this! I'm gonna hate this, aren't I? Everyone makes mistakes, right? I'm ready to show you what I've learned. What's the matter, little man? Some scars... ...never heal. That brings us to the end of the video. Plans are available for everyone from basic users to professional video makers, granting easy access to all models. For your first attempt, you can grab up to 2,200 credits worth over $20 simply by inviting new users. Just open the profile ribbon, find the invitation code section, copy the link, and send it to your friends. You'll earn 300 credits, and your friend gets 1,000. That's everything for today. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. See you in the next video.